Alright, hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial of Sales which Makes Sense. This is Imanshu and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass. In this tutorial, we'll continue understanding how to use the Lightning Record edit form to basically validate any errors, display them on the screen and also kind of save our form, right? In the previous tutorial, I kind of forgot to, you know, handle the save button for you. I'm just going to do that now and we'll also look at how to display error messages okay you don't have to write a uh, error framework at all a very simple tool which is lightning messages can just be embedded in your form and errors will start popping up whenever a validation fails okay cool let's look at our use case we have the case record i'm just going to go ahead and open the setup and let's look at object manager and let's go to case i just want to see if there's any custom field available fields and relationships okay so SLA violation let me see if I can bring this guy the SLA violation on the form okay I'm just going to go ahead and say the next field should be SLA violation SLA violation done that's the field just to be super sure yeah okay let's deploy deployed let's go back to the org let's refresh this case the record edit form should still show up and it is now showing the sla violation as no and yes but it is defaulted to none correct great what we want to do is basically we want to first i'll, I'll show you how to save this basically like i said that the edit form takes care of everything but you have to just you know incorporate the buttons okay so what you need to do is you need to add your buttons here now what are the buttons you can either have the submit button or you can have like the cancel button right or you can have the some 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 other button okay reset button let's say for now in this tutorial we'll look at the submit button which basically takes care of your form submission all right and that is going to be a lightning button so when i see lightning button you see i have all of these properties that i can use okay label name and all of this stuff right the important part is the type right here okay the valid button values of the type are button reset and sub are button reset and submit so we are going to go ahead and say submit so i'll say type is equal to submit that's my important thing here okay i'll just say label as safe that's basically what the user will see and i'll put a variant variant is nothing but you know how the button looks like you know red color blue color gray color and all of that stuff okay so that's my button done that's all I have to do in terms of creating a button and the code will take care of submitting the data to the database. Let's say deploy. Okay, this is now deployed and you can see that the save button is now showing up, right? So if I were to just modify a value status working and I say save, the, co the save button will take care of saving it, right? So this is now installation and working. Let me just go ahead and see that the status has been updated to working. The type or let's say what do I have here? The origin, right? The origin is email i'll just make it web i'll say save and the origin has been updated to web you see how beautiful it is working without having to reload the page refresh the page and how nicely the data is actually syncing right and now what i can also tell you about the beauty of lightning data services the cache capability and getting the latest data because of the wire adapters that are running behind the scene you see this is a custom lwc component this is a standard details tab right the value is reflecting same right but let's say the case origin has been modified to phone here and i say save a change from lwc is actually triggering a change and ensuring that the case origin is updated here without a refresh without a re-render i mean it's re-rendering but you're not getting to know okay what about the other way around so if you are working on this page with you know some other record and you have used lightning data services in some of your widgets you let's say make a change you come here and you say that the reason should be feedback the origin should be email and the status should be escalated and you go ahead and say type equal to electronic and you say save on this particular value right here you'll see that your lwc widget has also gotten the latest data without you having to do anything make sense that's the cache capability that's getting the react that's basically the reactivity and that's lds for you getting the latest data without having to you know handle it on your own okay the form takes care of itself the data is coming latest data from the database 
all right great now what i wanted to do is when we click on the save button we have seen that the save button works as expected which is great i want to show you how to embed any kind of error messages right so for example this lightning input field is supposed to be required so i'll just put the required flag here okay let's go ahead and say deploy this means that whenever you're submitting a form sla violation has to be chosen that's what required means correct let's go back and say refresh and if it all goes good we'll see a asterisk sign asterisk sign correct so if i don't choose this i see this complete this field error correct great but i want to be able to see summarization of the errors what if there are multiple errors so for that specific purpose there's something that's called lightning hyphen messages so this tag is going to take care of showing you any kind of validation errors right so we have made this required right here right so that's one validation that we have put and the other one is basically let's say that you have any kind of validation rules running behind the scenes right so i'm just going to go back to the object and let's create a validation rule i'll just create a dummy validation rule that let's say uh type cannot be mechanical okay so the type can never be mechanical let's say just assuming okay so i'll just create a new validation rule here and i'm going to say type cannot be mechanical error all right this is typo okay i'll simply say is pick well type mechanical right i hope you guys know how to write validation rules i'll say check syntax correct so if the type is mechanical this error should be thrown sorry you can never choose mechanical type for cases let's say this is the error that i want to show okay i'll say save so this is a validation rule that's supposed to run that runs on the normal page layouts correct now if if i were to refresh my screen and please note that i have the lightning messages embedded in my record edit form this will take care of showing you the right message in the right way okay let's go ahead and choose sla violation if i don't choose sla violation i get the field level error that's coming from the record edit form right if i choose the correct value it goes away all taken care by the record input field however if i have let's say the type type as mechanical i don't have a row level error why because it's a validation rule it will run when i click the save button but will it be able to throw us the error properly let's see so you see when i say save it says an error occurred in red color and it says sorry you can never choose mechanical type for cases so very much user readable understandable and then the user can actually just go in and modify the value and go ahead and say save the message will go away and the value will be saved and it is structural make sense so this is how you are able to actually embed error handling also so i i am not sure if you understand what we have done like you know in just quite a few sessions in just quite a few sessions we have actually been able to load forms view them in a specific layout for a certain set of fields in a certain say of way we have been able to edit forms for a specific record in a certain set of layout with a certain set of fields we have also been able to submit the data to the database meaning changes are reflecting in the database it is not a dummy form and we have now been able to also show or do a basic error handling framework wherein you can see the errors that are running that are you know coming from your system when they are triggered all of that without writing one line of apex code right and we have been also been able to you know get the schema information by get record and get field value all of that is what we have done in the last few tutorials i will continue our lightning data service to look at more capabilities and i will see you in the next one bye